Jazzing up your day with a touch of soul. The Living Room on 938 Live. Welcome into The Living Room on 938 Live. And Cats, one of the greatest musicals of all time, is returning to Singapore. Hands up, paws up, yay, happiness all around. (laughs) It's been called Simply Quite Phenomenal because it ran for, I think, a history-making 21 years on the West End, 18 years on Broadway. It's been to over 26 countries, 300 cities, 14 languages. Happy we are. It's in English here in Singapore. (laughs) And we welcome Earl Reby and Erin Cornell, from the cast of Cats, thanks so much for joining us today, guys. Early it is, not too early for you guys. You know, cats no, sleep in the day. Not too and all. We've been having rehearsals at 9.15, so ah. this is a sleep in. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So thanks so much for coming. I know it's exciting times. Curtains go up on the 9th and everything. Are we all set to go? Whiskers fluffed and tails? <laughs> um, we are currently in rehearsals at the moment, okay. um, prepping and... Um, getting ready to set up this uh, show in Singapore. So very excited about that. Must be because it's a new venue and everything for you. Is that always a challenging thing when you get to a new place, feeling out the place? Yeah, absolutely feeling it out. Um, But we're lucky that the set is quite... Does it really change... The, From place to place. Yeah, it's, okay. it's such a fun, a fun, playful set. And we have to do so much impro in the show. So any new space, it kind of helps us with the impro side of things and exploring the new space and stuff like that. As yeah, and, and we've also just gotten off the back of a, a very nice long um, tour right. um, yeah. up, um, coming from um, South Korea. So we've had a lot of time to um, be on the road and, you know, play to um, audiences in Korea. So um, I think it's going to be exciting. What were audiences like in in Korea? Singaporeans, we get a bit competitive. (laughs) Well, see if we compare, measure up. Outrageous! They (laughs) were standing ovations. Yes, so prepare Singapore. Okay, Okay. no, but they were note standing ovations and applause and screaming every show. Yeah, we were we were very blessed um, to perform every night. It was it felt like you were part of a rock concert yeah. oh. more than, than, than a musical um so we we look forward to seeing what the the response is going to be like in singapore the pressure <laughs> thanks a lot for that <laughs> so embarrassingly i admitted that i don't know the story of cats despite that i should be embarrassed i'll hang my head and hit shame in just a bit it's uh 21 years at west end 18 on broadway what the heck i yeah help us out help me out i suppose yeah, something's What's it about? working <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah it's um Obviously, um, about a the Jellical Cats, which is a tribe of cats, and um, my character Grizabella uh, was a part of the the tribe of cats at one stage, and she left, and now she's old and frail, and she's wanting to return to her tribe to to pass away in peace. Um, so she's she's on her journey to return, and um, the Jellical Cats aren't so. Uh, Welcoming, Welcoming, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, in in a nutshell, for for people that get very confused, because um, there's so much happening in the show that you kind of lose the story because you know there's this incredible set and makeup and costumes, fur flying, yeah, yeah, yeah and right. fur flying, and, <laughs> <laughs> and fluff coming out of like <laughs> mouths hair and balls. Yeah, hair balls <laughs> yeah. being cuffed all yeah. over the place. Um, um, we have one night, the Jellical night, where um, we. All it's the like cats, a ball. Yeah, like a ball. Mm-hmm. We, okay. we, we all there you are go. Vying. You know more than what you say. <laughs> yeah, you read the press release. <laughs> <laughs> Try and do your All those <laughs> cats are vying um, for, for the attention of, of being that one cat that is granted the opportunity to go to the heavy side layer. And for any cat, that is an amazing opportunity, you know. And we It's all like c- a, the highest honor. Yeah, so the highest yeah, honor right. for, for a cat to go to the heavy side layer, okay. to live his jellical life, which is. Um, Every cat's ultimate goal, and right. um, each cat makes his um, introduction, and like the Ram Tam Tiger makes his, and he's very wild and crazy, and so he wouldn't kind of be considered um, to go to the heavy side layer. Oh, and inappropriate! Then, is yeah, he? yeah. Because right. <laughs> keeps on interrupting because she really wants to, you know, go because life is hard for her on this life in the, the you know, right. the, so she wants to yeah. be reborn. Okay, that's ultimately what happens to you when you go up you be reborn. Mm. So that's what she's kind of wishing to. But old Deuteronomy, which is another um, cat who's the basically the cat the that we all the have to... The head man yeah. or head cat. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah. <laughs> Leader yeah. of the pack, if um, you will. We all have to... He has to choose us. He, he has to choose the chosen one to go up. Um, so it, everyone's trying to prove to him, I'm the one, I'm the mm. one, I'm the one. And there's one point where I, I go to reach out to him and he looks, he kind of 
gives you a bit of a swipe. He, he says that you're not ready, right? He's, you know, in, in a certain way, you're not ready yet, and I have to go through a whole kind of journey within myself to find inner peace to then go go to this place. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like a journey of discovery almost. Yeah, for yeah. Yeah. I think pretty, pretty much for for, for all everyone, of, for yeah. all the cats, and that's why we all come and we make our presentations and we showcase our best selves. But there's something that's lacking because um, we all rejecting Grizabella. So what what makes What's up us with that? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not cool. so. It's mirroring yeah. your it's, yeah. It's stuff. a reflection, and then yeah. close to the end of the show, we all have to go inward and look at ourselves and be like, okay, well. Clearly, I'm not not a very good meow, are yeah. you? <laughs> mm. So we're chatting with the cats, cast of cats. Curtains go up on the 9th of January. I'll give you ticketing details in just a bit. Stay with us on the living room, nine three eight live. A touch of home in the office, the living room on nine three eight live. Time now to rejoin the living room on nine three eight live. Thanks for staying with us on The Living Room on 938 Live. We're meowing up a storm here with the cast of Cats. Curtains go up on the 9th of January at the MasterCard Theatre's Marina Bay Sands. You can get your tickets already at cystic.com.sg. And oftentimes, I know, semi-insulting, I'll say hop to it because we have a tendency, Singaporeans, to sort of wait for a wee bit, you know. Oh, I just want to see if the show's any good, if tickets are flying off the shelves. (laughs) And of course they do, and then you're stuck with sold-out shows and I can't get tickets, what do I do? I'll ring the radio station and beg how you. I can't help you when that happens. You know, even Amanda, who's our good friend, and he, she brings the casts in to us, and I'll ask her, and she'll go, look, man, it's sold out. What do we do? So hop to it is the point. Cystic.com.sg. Or mail to it. Mail to it, too, yeah. <laughs> Run along, pad along. A 9th to the 25th of January, again, at Marina Bay Sands. So with the cast today, Erin and Earl are giving us the lowdown of what's happening. What would you say would be the most challenging thing about the roles? Is it the fur? Is it the constant <laughs> cleansing that one must do as a cat? <laughs> oh, I think for everyone it would be different. I, I'd say for more of the dancer plots, it's looking after their body and the injuries that may come along. Okay. Um, I would say for me it's just keeping um, in good vocal health. And um, Do also, weather conditions affect you from place to yes. place? Here we're really humid. And <laughs> well, the humidity is fantastic. Helps, yeah. It's every dream, you know, singer's dream. Yeah. Um, but uh, at the end of uh, our Korean tour, it got quite difficult because it was very dry and it was minus 11 degrees Amazing. <laughs> so we had to get a humidifier for our rooms and all sorts of stuff to try and and air conditioning doesn't help does it no i've known of singers <laughs> who've come to singapore so it's all yeah. lovely and moist outside yes. once you hit a theater with all this air conditioning some of them have asked to have the air conditioning turned, turned off. off so you're yeah. in a concert in sauna like conditions just so the singer has optimum conditions for yeah, their voice. The conditions are really harsh. I mean, <laughs> the audience members will, will look at you and they think, wow, they make it look so easy. Um, but you'll be dancing one moment on stage and you're building up a sweat and, you know, it's really hard. The costume, is yeah. it thick? Is um, it, no, 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 it's, it's, it's very, okay? very thin. Um, like in Korea, it was really hard because it was really cold. Right. And then you would just... For frozen paws yeah, and yeah, frozen tails. No. Yeah. Um, so your body would get really warm and then when you get off stage you're freezing so like you have to contend with all of that so looking after yourself as best as you can like really helps um but just going back um to your question um in terms of um the difficulty um maintaining felinity you know because at the end of the day we are human beings portraying cats <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to portray yeah. cats and um a lot I of th- research observing cats maybe yeah and, constantly yeah. like I, I find in 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 my off time if i if i just happen to see a stray cat in the in the street I just looking at the way he moves and the things he does just to remind me of how they move not that you'll be able to emulate it a hundred try as much as you can you know, it makes like, you feel it's awfully those little nuances that ungraceful just, because they're just so yeah, they're sleek so and, and so yes sinuous and sensual and elegant you know yeah and here yeah. we are schlepping along it's <laughs> been, i think i think for us as well it's just i know for for me um it's important to just always grab it gravitate towards the ground like try and be as low as possible ah, okay. and as over as possible and really yeah. because it's so easy as a, a you know the singer of the show and that doesn't do a lot of dancing to kind of come upright and then at, when you catch yourself uh-uh, you've got to You've come got back to, down ah, because the felinity yes. is so important yeah, as what it's, it's, because we've got kittens that are 
basically on their, their, their paws and their hands and knees. On fours, <laughs> on, yeah. On, on all fours. Yeah. And then you've got the upright cats like the Grizabella and the Tuggers and like the, the older cats. So it's, it's not that I'm saying it's harder for us, but like it's just those little nuances um, that create the illusion of a feeling. Got and to I mean, remember. We've got the help of the makeup and the wigs and which is, is marvelous. Still but still movement. Yeah. You ne- I think if we don't have that, that would make the show boring. Um, people would see that we're just human beings. Yeah, trying, yeah. trying to dress trying. up as cats. Yeah. Fancy it's, dress party. Do you feel some pressure, though? It's such a well-known musical. So all eyes, scrutinous, and fans going, hmm, let's see how Aaron does. Mm. Go ahead and press me. <laughs> Any pressure? Yeah. <laughs> Did but I you just have remind to, you? Um, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. thank you for that. Um, <laughs> no, but you have to just keep focused on what your job is, and it's not about being affected by that stuff. It's about the truth of the character and the integrity of the character and you have to always go back to that and also you want someone in the audience well you want the whole audience but you want to affect them and you want to connect with them so you you must focus more on that than oh am I going to hit the note tonight or whatever that is because it's not important it's about the story I mean of course it is important to hit the notes but that's going but when to happen you're in it, it'll happen. organically yeah. if you are true to Grizabella and true right. to her character and you will hit the note because that's what she has to do emotionally to release that so that's really how I work so, so help me out as well embarrassingly enough all the embarrassments come from me today. Uh, I got the lyrics to Memories wrong. How, how does it go again? It's not that the moon has lost her way. <laughs> memories all alone in the moonlight. moonlight has, I can, the, I, okay. has the moon right. <laughs> has, has, oh, God, now I'm getting the wrong. <laughs> the pressure's up. Um, has, there's so many versions. It's like 20 versions of memory I see wow. in the show. No, I'm joking. There's two. Um, <laughs> but, um, yes, has the moon lost? She's smiling lost alone. Her? Memory, she is smiling alone. Oh, I got there that one go. right. Yay. A star for me. <laughs> a big thank you to the cast of Cats who have joined us today, Erin and Earl. Curtains go up on the 9th of January. Again, hop to it. Get your tickets at cystic.com.sg. It's at the MasterCard Theatres, Marina Bay Sands, till the 25th of January. Thanks, guys, for joining us today. Thank you so Lots much. Lots of meows and good luck. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. Looking at life from a different perspective. The Living Room on 938 Live.